welcome friends to my channel today i am going to show you how to use the gas sensor module without any microcontroller board today i have one mq2 sensor this is basically a sno2 based gas sensor or semiconductor gas sensors this sensor is sensitive to basically methane lpg and smoke though this gas sensor have very poor selectivity it can sense other gas also this is a module this module consists of that you can see this is the basically gas sensor and this is the filter and this is the mq2 sensor and in this board we have the some signal conditioning circuit ic and one preset this is used to set the sensitivity of the particular gas sensor module here basically you have four pins as vcc ground d not and a not when we will use microcontroller board that time we will be using this a not pin but currently though we are not using microcontroller board so we will be using this d not pin so in vcc we have to provide plus 5 volt here we have to provide the ground and here at d not we will directly connect a low current output load like a buzzer or led and you can verify the output so let's do the connection we have taken this male to female jumper wire and first we connect the first connector the wire to the vcc terminal then we connect the next one to the ground terminal preferably use black color for ground and then we connect the another wire to the d not terminal and now this side you can see here i have a 5 volt power supply here i have a 5 volt power supply this is the positive and this is the negative so what i do i connect this vcc it is vcc to the this red red terminal that means plus 5 volt i am connecting this vcc red color to the plus 5 volt and then we connect this black color that is nothing but the ground to this negative terminal of the power supply and remember after giving this power supply we have to keep this sensor on for minimum 60 to 90 seconds because by this time the preheating is takes place so after 60 to 90 seconds only we will start the next task so as you can see whenever i have given the supply the power led is already glowing now as a load we will be using a buzzer connecting parallel with the led so the positive terminal of the buzzer is connected to the anode terminal of the led and negative is connected to the cathode terminal of the led so here we we have the output point for so they have the output point we need to connect this to the positive terminal of the bad led or the buzzer and we have to give negative supply or connect the negative terminal of this buzzer to the ground so we need another wire so we got the another wire and we connect to the negative terminal of the buzzer or the led and this will connect should, should connect to the negative supply or of the supply terminal as you can see buzzer is already is in on state it is because i told you that first you have to give a time duration of around 60 to 90 seconds so after that we will do the adjustment so let gives 60 to 90 seconds for settling down the voltage
now as you can see the both the LED is on and already 60 second is over still the buzzer is in on condition so we have to do some adjustment you can see you the you is using some screwdriver or any other equipment you just rotate rotate this in anti clockwise until and unless this buzzer gets stopped So now see the buzzer is stopped. So now this is the sensor module is ready for use. Now we will test the system. Here we will be having the audio output and here we will be having some visual indication of that. I have one uh, hand sanitizer. So what I will do, I will use this hand sanitizer. No, you know that uh, some alcohol content will be there in the hand sanitizer. So I put this hand sanitizer in this portion. And now I bring this sensor near to it so that after some time the alarm should start. I just brought the system, the sensor near to the sensor. So as you can see, at it starts after some time it starts the buzzer, and here you also getting the indication of this particular things now if you remove this uh, this uh, alcohol content from this place so if we remove this alcohol content now using some cloths so after some time the buzzer should off and this indicator also should off as you can see that now buzzer and buzzer is already off and uh, led also off so this timing is little bit larger it is not a response is not the fast detection response is very fast but the, while releasing it takes some time uh, so this is the all about how you can use the gas sensor module for a particular application without any microcontroller board